Oh dear. So, been a little while since I've recorded anything, but it's time to get back to it. So, oh, that might be a bit better, just adjusted the mic a bit. Um, so, this hard mod of Final Fantasy X has been released recently, and, well, it's well known that I've basically played this game to death, including a bunch of insane challenge runs, including the infamous no sphere grid, no summoning, no customize, no overdrives, no blitz ball, uh, and uh, no escape, no no encounters, although I did drop that last one at one point, like once I've captured one of each monster, so not really that last one. Not quite to completion, like the final boss in that one is a total luck shot basically so I didn't waste my time trying on that I just assumed I'm never gonna actually achieve it um, but yeah the point is I know this game very well so there's not much left for me to do in the normal version of it but this hard mod should breathe a bit new life into it so let's see how this goes so I'm doing this almost completely blind I know very vaguely that the mod does go beyond just buffing up enemy stats, basically. Uh, I did look over the bug and glitch thing, but to be honest I don't remember it, so I'll just go with save often and hope for the best. <laughs> And um, the one other thing is, when I do get to the monster capturing part, like, because I am going to take on the side quests as well, I've heard that they've been buffed up just like the main storyline has. Um, so when we get to that, I am going to capture one of each monster and then use a save editor to get to ten of each from there, just because it's bloody time consuming, I'm not going to waste my time on that. And probably the same with some of the more annoying mini games for the ultimate weapons, in particular Lightning Dodging and Riku's one. Although I might also just do it without those, at least in the case of Lulu's. Riku's I'll probably just suck it up and do it on camera. It's not really hard, it's just tedious. <laughs> um, but that's way, way further down the track, that's towards the end of the game. Um, for now, this is obviously the beginning of the game, and I think I remember hearing that around uh, around an event called Operation Mehen, that's not really a spoilery name until you actually see it, around there is where this mod really starts to differentiate from the original game, but we'll see how it is up to then. Um, I know that even the earlier parts can be difficult in some challenge runs, so... We'll see how it goes. Kind of weird seeing the like PS2 version graphics after being used to the HD version. Listen to my story. This may be our last chance. So I am expecting it probably won't be till at least probably the second or third video that we even really start to get into any significant combat just because the game does start off with a lot of tutorial type battle although with that being said this mod may very well put some actual challenge into those so yeah we'll see how that goes. It 
In fact, what I might actually do is cut the first video and start the second when the first actual battle of the game starts, just so that those who are not interested in seeing the opening cutscenes and that can just skip straight to the second video. So, but there will be some people watching I know who haven't played this game and will want to see all of that, so I will record it, but I'll, yeah, cut the video so that some people can skip straight to the of course. actual gameplay parts. Yeah, I'll go with the default name. Good luck tonight! Nothing to worry about. Oh, if I score a goal, I'll, uh, do this. That will mean it was for you, okay? <laughs> what seat? He's blocking the front row! Sit from the right! Got it. Can you sign this? No problem. Please. All righty. Me too. <laughs> Take it easy. Well, gotta go. Cheer for me. Two, three. She just had a blitz. Hey, I, I got a game to play. Then teach us after. Maybe tonight, um, well... You can't tonight. Well, I mean, tomorrow. Promise? Promise. I should have muted Discord before I started playing. Oh well. shop running away from home when I heard the news. Our hero, jacked, gone, vanished into thin air. <laughs> My dad must have been his biggest fan. I knew how sad he'd be. Heck, we all were that day. Zanara says to myself, what are you thinking? There's one character here who gives you a couple of potions, we sat up talking about but I can't remember night. which one. My dad and I never talked so much. Whoa, didn't mean to reminisce, folks. Anyway, ten years later, the Jack Memorial Cup Tournament is today. The two teams that have won through to the finals are, of course, the Abes from A East and the Duggles from C South. I know there's a lot of people out there today to see the star of the Abes. In just one year, he's become the team's number one player. He's Jack's blood and the new hope of Blitzball. What kind of super play will he show us today? Will we see his father's legendary shot? I don't think I'm the only one excited here, folks. Uh, okay, maybe not. Maybe it was somewhere else. Or maybe it was that chick who runs past periodically. Uh, I'll see if I can get it to trigger again. And looks identical to that one there. They really reused the NPCs a lot in this scene. Ah, screw it. Mm. I'm going to probably regret this, but I don't think I need a couple of potions anyway.
And bam, game's over. He's dead. Nah, not actually. <laughs> It begins. What? Don't cry. Not long from here is where the first battle starts. Hey, not this way. Look. We call him Sin. Yep, very skilled swordsman up there. Okay, and this is where the first battle starts. So I'm going to end the first video here and start the second one. Just so that, like, in case there's anything from here that gets interesting, it'll be included in the second video. So, I'll see you in that one.